one. This is the best present that I got this year. And his name is Nash. We adopted him from the uh, Humane Society of Greater Akron. And he's doing very well with his potty training. He, <laughs> <laughs> he makes a couple mistakes every now and then, but he's doing pretty good. Right, baby? Yes, I love you too. So this is Nash. Please um, make it your uh, New Year's resolution to adopt from a pet shelter this year. We're going to show everybody how to make holiday card swags. And I'm going to put you down so you can go get something to drink, Nash. This is my friend Karen, one of my best Hi. friends in the world. My Happy neighbor. holidays. And uh, we came up with this idea to display holiday cards, right, Karen? Yes. Yes. Uh, instead of putting them in a box, in a, a basket, uh, hang them on a swag. And you can hang them anywhere. You can hang them on a wall. You can hang them on, on your fireplace, piano. <laughs> on, our, on our player piano, uh, whatever you want. You can do that because you've got these command strips that don't make a mark on anything. And you can remove them after the holidays. So these are just fabulous. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to. Oh my gosh, look. We've got them on the, the piano. And they don't make a mark. You can remove them after the holidays. And they really hold a lot of weight. So command uh, small hooks is what you want to get. Man strips. You need uh, 16 gauge craft wire. You're going to need festive wired ribbon. We've got all colors here the red, the green, the, the gold, you know, uh, the silver, whatever. You're going to need uh, decorative uh, beads or gems. Just make sure that um, the holes are big enough in your um, gems or, or beads uh, to fit your um, 16 gauge wire. And you could go with the smaller gauge wire, but you have to make sure that the bead hole fits into the wire. Yeah. I mean, you can get smaller gauge wire, obviously, right. craft wire, uh, but this gauge we thought worked the best because right. it, it holds a lot of weight, right. it holds its, its body, uh, and then you're going to need um, some, a package of clothespins and spray paint, of course, because you're going to spray in whatever color you want, whatever goes with your decor, and then basically you just make a, a one to your liking. I mean. We needed a longer one for the piano. You might need a smaller one for a small wall. Right. Uh, you know, whatever length that you need. Uh, cut your wire to fit, and then you're just going to do a little. Um, let me see. Show you right here. You're just going to do a little hook at the end here to hold it like that. So just turn it like that and make a little hook, and that will hook right onto your command strip like that. And then you just start beating. I mean, there's. No rhyme or reason. Right. Your own design. Yeah, she, she did like uh, green clothespins and then uh, these cute little red beads that you got from Pacatans. You can buy them really cheap. Right. And the clothespins from Pacatans also are inexpensive. And they're, they really sparkle. And then we found these uh, uh, gold uh, little beads here. I did mine a little different with silver and, uh, and green and red and uh, white beads, as you can see. And now we're going to show you class 101 in making a ribbon, a very simple ribbon for the ends of your holiday card swag. So we're going to start with just, what, what would you say, that's about a, a foot long? Maybe. So you take that and you're just going to wrap it a loop that way, a loop this way, a loop that way, a loop this way. I'd usually do it three times. Mm -hmm. Is this the way you make your ribbons? No. How do you make your ribbons? Show everybody how you make yours. I put my thumb around the, the middle of the ribbon and then oh. I twist. Show the camera that, Karen. And then I twist. She puts her, wait, it remove twist. it and do it again okay. so everybody can see. So I put it around my thumb, around the bottom of my thumb, and twist. So you always have the shiny or the, the right side up. And twist again. Oh. And you can make as many loops as you want. The bigger the area that you're going to put your ribbon in, the bigger, the more loops you use. You can make them for a post for outside. Pack of tan cells ribbon that's for outside. You can put this outside. I've used this this kind of ribbon outside. Yeah, you're gonna you're only gonna use it for the season. season. That's true. 
I would think it would get weather damaged I by their outside ribbon. But I love this wire ribbon because it just mm -hmm. molds to whatever you're doing. And then you would cut your end and you would take your piece of wire. Here's a piece of wire. So while you're still holding it in between the, your thumb and the rest of your fingers. Ah. You just turn it upside down. And twist it. Twist it. Twist it tight. And then just readjust it. And here's your scissors. That's a very cool way to make a ribbon. Anyone knew that? No? Uh-uh. So I just make mine, I just do mine three loops each way. And then I cut mine. Actually, sometimes I do like a, a loop this way. Oh, but mine is very different. Mine is all held together with the wire. And I take my craft wire right here. And I put it through the loop. around. And that holds a whole bunch. I don't know if I'm showing this very well, but thank you. Mm -hmm. And then well, I just twist the back. Too. Because yeah, we, I learned something new today. Well, I learned something new with you too, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> but the wired ribbon, you can just, I mean, just take it and pull it. Oh, sure, and just shape it the way that you exactly. want. Exactly, exactly. So, and then you might need to cut the, the bottom so they match. Make it even. Uh huh. And then you're just. Or gonna... you can keep it uneven. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. Yeah. So, you're going to tie these on the ends of your swag. Now, if you wanted to do it you know, like, a, like three um, looped swag. Make another bow. Yeah, just make another bow and take another command strip in between. If you've got a real long area, a real long fireplace. Uh, that would work too. So uh, we hope you like our idea. We liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and Karen's got another idea she's going to show you. You could also make a holiday wreath. The only difference is I used a coat hanger, a wire coat hanger. You have to unassemble it, put your clothespins and your beads on it the way that you would like to make them, and just Wrap it back up and adhere your ribbons.